Hey, ho, hey, ho, hey, ho, hey, ho, hey. Hello. I like the side to side thing you're doing. You like doing. it? You like my little side to side dance? A little this. A little more proper. The thing I like more? about this is even if you got it wrong, it looks right with two people. It's true. Because you're either opposite. Oh, you doubled it up. <laughs> oh, hey, if you're hey. following on the podcast. We just danced really great. We danced really great. Yeah. Welcome to Hype Night. Welcome to Hype Night. We're so happy you're here. Yes. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I'm Mel. I'm Dale. And uh, this is a little show we like to do called Hype Night yeah. with Mel and Dale. This is true. Yeah. You know, we started this show because we know so many fantastic and wonderful and inspiring women and we just wanted to share their awesomeness. Yeah. So we made a list. And we started calling them over and uh, celebrating them. Yeah, so now we're done like 30 of these? Yeah, about 30. And it's awesome, and our list has about 30, 100 million more. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, we know so many wonderful women. Yes. And we want to celebrate them. Yeah, and we know that you know wonderful women too, so give them a compliment. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Uh, Thank you for joining us. If you've joined us before, thank you for coming back. Hi. We are so happy you're back. Yeah, and if you haven't joined us before, get ready because it's a loving. It's going to be great. You're going to love it. (laughs) Oh, that was really. It's kind of spooky. I wanted to. I liked it. Make it a bit weird. You're going to love it. Just ah. voices with that like weird face. <laughs> oh, what happened? To oh, us? I got a little bit punchy today. A bit. It's okay. It's okay. That's it's like right. we're from that show Feud, right? I don't know the show. Feud. Do you know the show about? Anyway, we'll talk Family about Feud. Family Feud is great. It's like yeah. we're on Family Feud. Family Feud. That's right. Survey says zipper. It's always zipper. It's always zipper. Answer is always Top zipper. answer is always zipper. Zipper. Always. Um, listen, you could be watching us at a f- bunch of different places. Yeah. You could be watching us right now live on Facebook. Hello. Hi. You can comment if you're on Facebook. You can press all your emojis that you want That's all true. of the time. And uh, and ask us questions and all those things. That's true. Maybe you are watching us on Highball TV. If so, welcome. Yeah. Comment. Let us know what you think. Um, oh. Check out some of the other uh, other stuff that's happening on that site. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for um, being there. We noticed that a lot of you were listening to the show on headphones and not actually watching. So we decided to go with what you wanted, and we made it into a podcast. Yeah. So you can find that podcast at Podbean, or you can also find it delivered straight into your inbox, like the VIP you are Ooh. at Patreon. So you can yeah. go check us out at Patreon as well. Check us out at Patreon. Mm-hmm. And thank you to our patrons. Yes. Patreon. Yes, thank you to our patrons. You're great. You're all wonderful. Mwah. Mm, oh, that's nice. I'm wearing red lipstick. Y- and it I gotta right. say, I gotta say, it looks really nice. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> um, how so, cool. Yeah. So I guess I kind of started with the hype there. You did by saying a little that. bit. That yeah. wasn't my hype for you. I mean, Although, that said, this is your lipstick. It's true. Yeah, it looks great on you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, that it wasn't my hype for you tonight, although you do wear lipstick very well. Thank you. Yeah, like I, yeah, I've noticed this. You took a picture of yourself somewhere last night and posted it on Instagram, and I was like, look at that lipstick. I'm all about my lipstick. Yeah. But then I'll not do my eyes at all. No, but you don't need to but because you're rocking. But people and it looks great. Yeah, but I don't know. I love your style. My eyes are really big. You do have big eyes. Sometimes I just want to just do lipstick in this. You're like... You should be in, like, so many amazing, like, horror movies. <laughs> Do you know, you know what I mean? Like, classic, like, classic. Like, like you have amazing, you're you're so expressive, and your eyes are so big. I think you should do it. Yeah, exactly. If you're Guys. listening to the podcast right now, <laughs> Dale is making a series. I'm just of, mugging like a jerk. Yeah, it's pretty great. It is. It's pretty great. <laughs> is the well, truth. Well. I want to give you a little bit of hype. Okay. Um, we traveled together this weekend. We did. We did. We traveled. Nice. You're a very easy, wonderful person to travel with. Oh, that's very nice. We've never traveled together before. We've never traveled together. So, you know, that that could have been bad. It could have been. It can, There's always a risk. But it wasn't. No. Yeah. Well, likewise. It was really good. Thank and I you. appreciate, I can appreciate if I can travel with someone yeah. who will do like a three day callback on a joke, like a three yeah. day callback, oh, yeah. I'm in. <laughs> I'm a like, big callback time. Like a callback from when we first got in the car. Like you made a callback Did from I? when we I don't first even got remember. in the car, when I got out of the car. And that was like three days later. Amazing. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. I love a long callback. I mean, <sighs> if I can eke out a joke 
for days. I mean, that's a sp- it's special when you travel with someone because you can really yeah. can let it ride. Yeah. And we did. I'd share the jokes with you, but they were all so blue. Yeah. They were we so can't. very they were blue. So very blue. Oh, I know what. Yeah. You no, know, we can't just share so that. Blue. Uh, maybe if you join us on Patreon, that'll be like a perk on Patreon. Uh-huh. Our blue Our jokes. Our blue jokes? Great. <laughs> there you go. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, well, Dale, I'm going to give you hype because the lipstick thing was like, um, it, that was really like a spontaneous hype. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you like my, the proper hype. Thank you. I'm just going to step in right now because we have a few new viewers who don't exactly know what we're hyping tonight. Okay. Tonight we are going to be bringing out a woman and hyping hyping her and we're just showing a little bit of how hype works yeah. and how compliments work. Compliments. That's it. It's we're really complimenting just complimenting each other. Each other. <laughs> I'm sorry if it seems like complicated. It's not. It's not. It's just we're, we're just doing it and like, then we're going to bring someone out yeah. who is wonderful. That's. Yeah. yeah. And now back to my compliment. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say you have really good dance moves. Oh. And, like, they're funny. Not everybody can, like, dance well and still be funny. Some people can dance <laughs> badly, and they're funny because they dance badly. Some people can dance well, but they can't be funny. And you can do both. And that's my hype for you. So that's that's that. I'm in the pocket. I'm in the pocket, <laughs> in the baby. Pocket. Yep. All right. Cool. You think it's maybe time to I think it's totally there? time. I think people are ready. Obviously, people are ready. the people want what they want, and yeah. we're not going to stand in their way. Yeah. Uh, our guest tonight is an amazing what she does so many things yes yeah, so many she's things. manager producer a lot of pages today she's a lot of pages she's currently the director of uh, artscape performance and event venues mm-hmm. and the programs that happen at artscape i don't yes. know that i got that title right but she's gonna correct me if i was wrong uh <laughs> we're gonna welcome her here right now to the table yeah. tonight's guest nitty Cano. come on yeah here. yeah yeah hello hello Ta-da. hi welcome hello. Two wonderful patterns and a black shirt. (laughs) Nitty, we're so happy to have you here today. I'm so happy to be here. Yay! Yay. Welcome. You guys are just like the picture of summer. Yeah, it's a very summery time. Look at you. You both like just summer. You have the red lips. Yeah, you got the lips. But I'm like that brooding like... Who's like, nah, I just wore my t-shirt. That's like Thing. Queen West right there. You're oh, queen, you're, right? You're, you're Queen, queen West, West summer. Right. I'll, queen take West. I'll take it. <laughs> queen West Dale. You got Queen East patterns. Queen going. East patterns. <laughs> Is that a, I, I don't know. know. Maybe? <laughs> you guys tell us if you're watching <laughs> what, what neighborhood <laughs> we represent right yes. now. In what Toronto neighborhood do we each of us represent? Yes. Mm-hmm. Dale, should we maybe Let's get, get those... a drink going? So on the show, if you, this is your first time watching, we always have oh gosh, um, our guest's favorite drink. Um, so tonight, Nidhi, you said you were kind of into gin and tonics lately. Yes. So we got this fancy gin that we've mm. had on the show before from our wonderful sponsor. Yes. Um, um, this one, uh, yes, this one comes not from our, oh my gosh, mind blanking. How terrible is that? From Woodman's? It's not from Woodman's. Oh. It's from, it's from the other one. Tepicular Fixins. So Tepicular Fixins, that's right. So we have, um, we have a couple of wonderful sponsors. Yes, we have a couple. And, and this so, one's from Tepicular Fixins. Thank you, Tepicular Fixins. This one's called Empress 1908. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We almost rocked the bottle last time, and now we're going to finish her off. We're going to finish this off. We're gonna so this, this gin color. is like tinted this interesting color. It's blue. It's blue. And then when you add, I think, citrus and potentially also... Just the quinin or quinion? Quinion? How do you say it? The colonial thing. <laughs> the, <laughs> colo- the colonial drink we're gonna drink. So there's only this much left, right? Quinine. So just- Quinine? Quinine? Oh, guys. <laughs> I haven't even had any yet. I and measured it, and I thought I could finish the bottle. Oh, it's dude. too much. Oh no! There's that. We're gonna okay. get so wasted. All right. Maybe um, we need other so music this is, for... Yeah, so this is like a blue gin. It's really great. It's made in... Uh, do you want... So this is naturally this light, is naturally or... light <laughs> or the regular tonic water, <laughs> water, which is also called premium Indian. And uh, I don't know why. Yeah. So there's that. Which one would you like? Well, I have to take the premium Indian. <laughs> premium Indian it is. <laughs> Come on All now. the way. All right. Here we go. I'm also going to take some premium Indian. I got to say this Fever Tree, uh, I really love their... Uh, I like their, their ginger beer, too. Their ginger beer. They have a great line of different... Uh, I'm just going to oh. do this. Ooh, can you feel the premium? Can you feel, can you feel how premium it is? It's oh! It turns pink. Nice. Oh my goodness. Very cool. I got, I got a little real on that one. It's very it's fancy. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. That smells good. Whoa, yeah. Do you want the, Do you want more of that one? Yeah, you want the premium. Oh, premium. It smells really good. It smells really good. It's because, i got to say, this... <laughs> No premium Dale. for Dale. Dale clearly cannot have premium in No. I got I got arrogant because I got close to the camera and did it successfully. He did, yeah. He got a little bit. A I lot want more bit. lime in mine. Okay. So. 
Okay, That's we're gonna add some more lime. All right, wow, Dill, you're oh. really going for the oh, citrus. Okay. okay, I like it. Okay, we're gonna leave like the lime on the table. Why not? Okay. No, if anybody else wants some, then you can have it. Here, I'm gonna put one in too. All oh, right. Well, man, I'm gonna okay, well, it's just lime all, lime all the time. <laughs> then I took my drink with me. Okay. All right, here we go. We hope you're enjoying something at home tonight. Cheers. 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 Can I do? Cheers. Can I do a quick shout out? Yes. yes. One of the first people who I think is new to the show, my friend Renata was on there at 9 o'clock, so cheers, Renata. Renata! Hype to Renata. Hype to you. Hype to Renata. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's wonderful. Oh, That's really nice. That is nice. It's really nice. You cannot underestimate a good tonic. No. The tonic is really important. In fact, I think Fever Tree on the box for the tonics, it says if three quarters of your drink is tonic, it better be good tonic. Yeah, this it's is true. It's fair. It's true. And it's even if things. less than three quarters is, in our case, because <laughs> Dale was very free with that pour. Listen, I went to measure it, and then it was like, let's just finish this. Just kill just the soldier. It's kill it's it. It's like every Saturday night for me. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, I'm right. getting the Queen West. Dale is Queen West. Oh, I'm Queen West West. Okay. Queen West Nitty West. And is Ossington. Ah, okay. Ossington. Wow. Shout out. Close to where we are. Yeah, this is Shout out to Ossington, or as Matt behind the camera likes to call it, Ossington. Ah. There you go. It's own special Ossington. Yeah, so a little hype to Matt behind the camera and Sonia, who's in our hype. studio. Hype. Hype. Hi. Yeah, Sonia, Hello. what's going on? Is something happening? <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know if you guys heard. Uh, you guys heard of her? You were you're compared to, right? No. Who are we compared to? Um. Well, um. The the neighborhood. Oh, the neighborhood. Oh, yeah. neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Corso Italia. Just I got Corso Italia. Italia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice. Listen, I can't escape it. Nice. I can't Corso escape Italia. my Italian roots. <laughs> it's true. I'm it's not wonderful. going to. It's a wonderful thing. Um, okay. We're gonna start with the best part. Uh, right. The best parts of our day. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's. Best do part it. of our day. Uh. Well, I got to go. Part of why I wore this dress today is I got to go to a party before Ooh, we taped this. That's nice. Because uh, a show, a theater show that I was a part of, um, that I helped create, co-create, uh, is nominated for a bunch of Dora Awards, which are like theater awards in Toronto. And so there was a toast for the nominees that's and amazing. it was really nice. It's very nice, nice to be celebrated. So it was nice. That's that nice was the thing. best part of my day. It was yeah. pretty simple. Best part of my day was we had like a quick five minute crazy wind and hailstorm in Toronto. Yes, we did. Yeah, yeah, yes, we did. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I love a crazy five minute quick wind and hailstorm in the middle of the summer. I love it. Yeah, it's cool. So I just stood huh. at my window and just looked and watched it. And then I went and put my boots, my rubber boots on. And then I went and I, st I stood in all the flood. That's fantastic. I love it. Yeah. No, I get that. Yeah. I got to my car just as <laughs> the hail and and rain yeah. started, so it was like the perfect timing. Yeah. Are you oh one of those God. people that's like scared in their car though when it's hailing? They go, oh, my paint job. Oh, no. <laughs> I never think about my Listen, paint job. I have a Mazda too. <laughs> I'm not who scared Who doesn't think about their paint I job? I never think about I, this. You're talking to a person who's never actually owned her own <laughs> car though. <laughs> Like, I don't, I don't think about that. Oh my god! I think about like, am I going to crash into something because I can't see anything? <laughs> but I never think about the paint job. The paint, I didn't even know that was a thing. No, my, me either. Like, my car is like so old and I'm still like, my paint job. But you come from a long line. You come from like. Oh yeah, you. Yeah. I do. I do. You're a car yeah. loving family, a car, a, you know, a car aficionado kind of family. No, but wouldn't you be pissed off if it was like hailing and then you got out and then your car was all dented? You'd be like, damn. Yeah, but dents, okay, but dents, dents different are different than paint, than paint jobs. Yeah. Same thing. What? Oh, really? Yeah. You're going to dent your car, you're going to fuck up your paint job as well. Yes, but the, but we're we're not saying that dents and a paint your paint being a paint chip is as bad as a dent. <laughs> well, I feel like yeah. hail. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Thank you. Right. I know. I just am yes. saying like they're different, right? Tell me I'm wrong. Okay. Tell me I'm wrong. So Dale likes to ask people <laughs> to tell her that she's wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. So if you think Dale is wrong, tell her she's wrong. That's how that <laughs> segment of the show goes. <laughs> tell Dale she's wrong. Penny says your your car is made of plastic. Our car oh, still Yeah, means, we have a car made of plastic. But that still means the paint job can get screwed up. Yeah, not really. Mm. Our car is basically Lego. We drive a smart car. <laughs> no, seriously, someone crashed into our car and like a piece broke and Matt was like, "Well, we'll just we'll just I'll just replace it and I'll put it on myself." And I'm like, "What?" And then it came in the mail or I forget, you picked it up somewhere and it was a piece of plastic that just like clipped into the car. But you know, like, Crazy. most cars are made of pieces. You just take the new piece and put it on. I get that, but are they plastic pieces? Like, they're... Mostly. No. Fiberglass. Like so we're not special? I, I feel like yeah, now I'm like so that, sad like, that I'm wow. not special. I feel like you got Damn. sold a story. That... I think, I know. Matt and I are going to have a oh, conversation. Oh, it's not painted, here. it's red plastic. 
Yeah, the it's plastic not, is red. Yeah, there's not a paint job on it. It's made. Look yes. at the look of disgust that Dale has. Dale on hates me and my right car now. now. That's what's happening. <laughs> I was, didn't realize it was just plastic. Yes, that's what I said. Four <laughs> well, cars times. are mostly plastic, but I didn't think it was. I, they're usually painted plastic. No. We don't need to spend an hour talking about this <laughs> with you. We don't need to do that. Nithi, what was the best all? part of your day? Um, I went out to Toronto Island today because oh. I got to work out of uh, our venue there, which is Gibraltar Point. And so I was on island time all day. I got to take the ferry across. Oh, it was that's beautiful. So great. I got out before the storm. Yeah. It was great. It's great. Love the island. Yeah. Waiting for the ferry in that storm would have been a nightmare. It would have. It's uh, yeah. the open ferry too. Yeah. So it's like, right. Yeah. yeah. So it's an adventure. It is. Yeah. It is. Right. You never know what you're gonna get. But yeah. Right. Yeah. I've never taken a water taxi. Have you ever taken a water taxi? I have. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's How just a boat. Yeah. It's like, just a boat. It's like a. V- <laughs> I <laughs> Sorry. It was more special. I mean, I find any excursion on the water like that exciting it's like do you think that like in venice you'd get one of those gondolas because they're taxis right like well i've been on the vaporetto in venice which is like the water bus i guess because it's like it's not a gondola it's a boat that takes multiple people it's sort of a ferry but a, yeah it's a like bus a boat. i've been on disney boat shuttles <laughs> well from like, have. It's from like port of orleans to downtown disney yeah like, i've done of, that kind of like that <laughs> And, and was it just, just like a boat? Yeah, it was just a boat. Okay. Alligators and stuff, and that's about it. That's cool. Yeah. 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 Well, right. that sounds like a wonderful day. It does sound, sound like a, a wonderful day. day. And it was a beautiful, it was a weird day in Toronto. It was like, <coughs> you could feel that storm coming all yeah. day. But those are interesting days, too, right? That feeling of expectation is always kind of interesting. I yeah, think. and the fur, like on your neck is like, yeah. yeah something yeah. weird's happening. Something hey, strange. strange. Yeah, what? <laughs> yeah. What's going on? Um, okay. Nitty, so, I... Like I know you, I've known you yes. for a couple of years. Yes, I I know that you're amazing, and the things that you do are amazing. Thank you. I'm like so beyond impressed because now I know so much more. <laughs> now that we've like found out so much more about you, you've done so much. Yeah, you're and like, we're gonna we're gonna hype you. Yeah. So let's maybe talk about the rules quick for because okay. we have some new people as well oh watching. God. So it's pretty simple. There are three rules. One is you have to take all the hype we give you. Okay. No qualifying. Okay. Just take it. Mm-hmm. Number two, if we get something wrong, please correct us because okay. we like it when we're right and sometimes we're not right. So let us know. Okay. And uh, the third thing is if there's anyone you want to hype, which you've already done for Renata, uh, anybody else you want to hype, you're like, oh, that person did that with me and I want to celebrate them, then we'll please them do. Okay. Yeah. 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 Great. Um, and away you go. So you're the director of Artscape Performance and Event Venues. Yes. Um, I, because I don't know much about Artscape, I didn't realize there were more than one venue. Ah, yes. Yeah. Yes. Because then you were like, we're down on the island. Yes. Yeah. So So how many venues are there? Uh, there's five, and we're opening a couple more at the end of the year. Oh, That's exciting. So cool. That's great. Yeah. I've rehearsed before in the Artscapes building on Shaw. Yeah. Same place. Yeah. I really, I really loved rehearsing there. Yeah. It's like you're in, you're out. It's nice. There's the cafe. The cafe's that there. That has delicious things. Yes. Um, there's a great vibe in the space because everybody in there is making interesting things Art and, and being, creative. yeah, creative. Mm-hmm. And what a lovely, that must be a cool place to work and, and be in buildings like that. Yeah. I'm, ve- I'm very lucky, I have to say. Yeah. That, to be able to... Where would you find the? Where would you say that you find most of your time? Like, where? Which building are you in the most? Um, well, I used to be predominantly a Daniel Spectrum, mm-hmm. and I'm still there. Um, and so that's really cool because you know there's just so much that goes on to that in that building. Yes, 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 and, yes. yes. Uh, but I'm kind of all over the portfolio. Um, so yeah, but mostly Daniel Spectrum. That's cool. And how long have you been there? Since 2016. Man, wow. So you're like in. You're like, you're like, <laughs> no, but you know how there's like, you, you start. I passed the probation. Yeah. You did. No, no, like, listen, <laughs> of course you do. You're wonderful. I get my massage. <laughs> you get yeah. your massage. That's but right. there's a, there's like going into a job and like learning the job and figuring out what it is you're doing and then being able to have a vision like going forward. And yeah, I think true. after two years, you're likely like, I would say probably like getting your vision going and getting like what, what you would like to see happening. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. It's awesome. It's You're wonderful. welcome. Oh, it's so uncomfortable to just say thank you. <laughs> I know. We know. No, That's why we know what we do at the top of the show when we compliment each other. We're like, ooh. Ooh, it's so uncomfortable. Ooh, it's hot in the hype. What? Hot in the hype. <laughs> hashtag hot in the hype if you want to use a hashtag. Yeah. Whatever. It's but the choice. truth is, you know what? It, it takes practice to take compliments. It does. It, it does. does. I am right. finding myself like trying to be like, 
when someone gives me an unexpected compliment, I, I'm really trying to just accept it and take it and mm. own it. And, yeah, because yeah. like, what is that? Like, what is that weirdness? Well, I think mm. that, like, A, I think we're taught that humility is a kind of virtue, like, that, that being humble. Like, I know certainly, like, in religions a lot you're taught that, like, pride is bad, mm. right? It's, like, sinful to be proud. Mm -hmm. So I think when someone compliments you and you're like, oh, thanks, and then you're like, oh, is this feeling I'm having bad? Like, for right. me, I'm like, <laughs> wait a minute, I feel good about myself. Maybe I shouldn't. Like, all my weird Catholic it's programming so comes true. up. It's um, So I think that's part of it, um, for sure. I We've noticed that almost every person, every woman we've asked to be on the show has a moment where they say, oh my goodness, really? Like, ugh. Mm -hmm. like they have such a fall about being sort of complimented. Huh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. That's my that's my take on it. I don't know if anyone else has I think that's other. I think that's exactly it for me, too. Yeah. I think it's just programming and being like, oh, I don't want to seem like my head is so, so big. big that I'm just like, thanks. But the truth is there's like, I don't know, there's a real courage in just being like, thank you. I think it's also, uh, I think that also is true that, like, when someone compliments you, if you say, if you qualify it or you dismiss it, you're almost, like, you're almost, like, throwing that back in their face. Like, there's yeah. also something ah, kind, I think, and generous about accepting a compliment. Yeah, but yeah. we're not, we're not met, we're not taught to see it that way. Right. But I think there is something where, like, if you say something genuinely to someone you compliment them, and they take it in, it's also nice for the person who complimented them. Yes. Right? Because it's, like, received... Yes. Which I think is nice. Yes. Anyway. Yes. I've only had I only, I've only given a compliment once that it was given back to me in a way that I was offended. Oh really? really? Yeah. What? What did I gave say? a compliment once to this uh, person, and I don't even remember what it was, but it was certainly about like what they were wearing or something about their look. Okay. And I complimented them, and they were like, "Well, that's really about you, isn't it?" <gasps> Whoa. Yeah. And Throw I remember, down. but it really made me think. I was like, "Oh." I guess that is about me. Like, I am liking what you are wearing, but I guess you just assume that other people like what they're wearing too. So I just mm, wanted to share. Yeah, and then I was I like, I was like, in all of my life, this has happened to me once. I'm going to try not to make this encounter be the encounter that shapes like giving my compliments. Favorites, right. My favorites are like, you know, like when the aunties do like the backhanded compliments. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love oh, it. Right? Yeah. Like the like, you know. Yeah. Oh, you've lost a lot of weight. Yeah. Mm. I'm sure a husband's coming soon. Like that type of, right? Like, like He's just arriving? He's just the arriving around just the corner. He's heard that you've lost some weight, so he's <laughs> yeah, just arriving. Yeah. 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 Oh my Backhanded God. auntie compliment yeah, it's is like, like the yeah. best, right? A wonderful it's thing. Like, oh, okay. A wonderful thing. Yeah. Because yeah. you're both like shocked, jarred, and there really is no response other than thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, what oh, are you I heard say, you. Right? I heard you did so and so. That's so good for you. <laughs> yeah. I like th that where I'm just yeah. like. Good to see you standing on me. your own two feet. Oh, I <laughs> know. <laughs> oh, those are terrible. I had someone once say to me, someone say to me, this woman who I was in my extended family, who I would often argue with a lot. Like, you know, when you're like, in my like late teenage years where I would like go to town on like feminist arguments and this older woman who would like always <laughs> fight back and I had no qualms about fighting with her and she didn't like it and uh, I remember then I was dating a guy and I brought him to like Easter or whatever and I remember as I was leaving she was like Melissa I just want to say I think it's great that you're dating this guy. You seem you seem a lot calmer. And I was like, you Ooh. thought I was calm? Like everything Ooh. inside of me like boiled <laughs> up. Yeah, don't it. don't do that. Yeah, it's yeah. good. Yeah. It makes me wonder though. I'm like, ooh, when do I get when do I step over into like bitch ant territory? When bitch does that yeah. happen? Where well, I, go? I mean, we all have our things because we're all carrying a lot of things stuff yeah, with us, stuff. right? And you were saying like. If that person was like, that's about you. Well, everything is kind of about us. Like, even when we help people, we feel good. So there is an element of it that is for us. Like, you can't completely separate yourself. Oh, no. I full on do only things for myself. Well, there you go. <laughs> we're learning things. I'm like... Okay. We're going to celebrate that right now. Hype to you. Hype. 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 Okay, I'm amazed that you... So you went to McGill... Mm -hmm. And you got a BA in psychology. I did. Then you went to RADA. You went to the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. I did. In London, England. I did, yes. And you got a master's. 
in text and performance study. Yes. And then you were like, you know what? <laughs> I'm not excellent enough. <laughs> I'm going to go to the Schulich School of Business. Yeah. And I'm going to get an international MBA in marketing and international business. Whoa. Um, yeah. I just want to say that's a remarkable thing. That's really, cr- that's wonderful. I was going to say crazy wonderful. It's, it's crazy death. wonderful. It is crazy wonderful. Yeah. Because How, it's like, like so many, it's like psychology and then theater. Yeah. And then business and it's amazing yeah I mean it's it's cool because it actually like especially working kind of in the cultural sector and mm-hmm. the creative industries you know like being able to understand it from the artistic and creative point of view but also understand it from a more business and strategic lens around uh, around certain things it's it's a nice little yeah amalgamation because you've worked in like profit and non-for-profit mm-hmm. businesses right mm-hmm. so what was that like shift <laughs> for for you it had to have been because you're, de- you're probably dealing with boards and things like that, yeah? Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. So, so, so how, like, yeah, how do you how do you push through, like, certain initiatives that sometimes with non-for-profit philosophies or cultures, I wonder how marketing initiatives sometimes get pushed through and like that. Well, I find sometimes, like, not-for-profits have, uh, depending on which one you're working with, sometimes mm-hmm. have more structure actually around it from a board perspective because you have to like if you're a charity there's a lot more stringent right. components yeah. right? right um i i found my experience working in more of for-profit entity uh is you're dealing with people who are founders and so they just kind of come in and do their thing um right. and there's actually a little bit less of a, a process associated with it or oh, okay approval. yeah that makes um because it's like hey this is my business i'm gonna go in this direction and do this right um so right. yeah so i don't know it really depends but uh that didn't answer your question no i mean it, it does it affecting the question no it does in a way in the sense that i was just like i i guess I would as, I would assume it's more difficult to get initiatives through like a not for profit and a board and with different visions and and diff, more people at the table I would think than getting it getting, getting initiatives through in like a profit sector. Yeah, I yeah. think that yeah, I think that's totally true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I yes, no, I worked for some uh, for profits with like younger kind of CEOs and entrepreneurial and founders and things like that and and it's very much like Okay, I want to do this. Boom, we're gonna do it. Whereas, like, not for profit, it's like, do we have the budget? Is it part of the plan? Yes. When does everybody? Does everybody yeah. agree? Right. Um, yeah. yeah. Does it line up? Yeah. Everyone's going skiing in Switzerland. Yeah, I kind of had someone like that too, where it was like, that's not a good idea. <laughs> the board's like, great. We'll get right I on. I don't like just yeah. an entrepreneur was like, we're uh, yes. we're just gonna go all go skiing. We're gonna go skiing. Amazing. <laughs> There's kind of a freedom though sometimes when you're working for like profit places where you just go, okay. Yeah. 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 yeah it's like, it's right. the okay. That's what you want to do. Listen, I'm just gonna. <laughs> yeah, you you do You're, your thing. It's your company. It's I guess we'll all go skiing. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, and so you also you're also the executive director at Drumcast Productions. Mm-hmm. So that's uh, a company that you work with Marco Timpano, yes. who's a frequent uh, audience member of our show. Yes, hype I think to he's Marco like Timpano. yeah, hype to Marco Timpano. I don't think he's. I think he's. Uh, He's on plane. Flying home today. Yeah, he's on uh, flight right now. But uh, hype to him. Mm-hmm. And you do a podcast that has become, like, hugely popular yeah. and is fantastic called The Insomnia Project. Yeah. It's so great, everyone. <laughs> it's and so you've great. both been contributors. We have. Yeah. We've both been on it, yeah. It is, if you <clears throat> do not know what The Insomnia Project is, it is a wonderful podcast uh, that you, Marco, created. And is it is essentially created, I think it's something like 26 minutes, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's 26 minutes long, and it is designed to make you go to sleep and it does its job it does because its you job. never hear the end of it yeah it's true like you and fall asleep true. and the beauty of it is it it rides this line like i was i mean i think this and then i was reading comments to this effect and reviews to this effect that it's like it rides the line between being like it's interesting enough mm-hmm. but not too interesting and that's really hard <laughs> to do it's like yeah. the topics are like mundane but it but it's like you're listening. It lo- kind of lulls you slowly to sleep. Yeah. It's quite nice. It's not like listening to a meditation, no, or no. like a or like a gray noise or brown noise or something like that. All the colors of noises you could <laughs> listen to. Um, it's not like one of those types of things. It's actually like an interview style <laughs> podcast with a guest or 
or um, sometimes it's just sometimes just you and Marco, mm-hmm. and you guys just like talk about something. Yeah, for a while. Yeah. It's yeah. Great. It's, uh, yeah, it's super fun. I remember. So I was lucky enough to be a part of um, an installation you did at Nuit Blanche. Yeah, where so it all began. Matt was part of it too. Matt was part of it too. So Nuit Blanche is like an all night art installation in the city of Toronto that happens in the fall. Yep. And uh, it's a crazy night and things happen all over the city and they happen throughout the evening or throughout the night. And so you did live tapings of the Insomnia Project that were live streamed out into the world. Yeah. And Matt and myself <laughs> were me. responsible for curating these projections that would go along oh. with, oh, it was so with crazy. them. And That's I got to say that it was one of the most fun nights of my life. <laughs> Matt and I got into this groove of finding the craziest clips. And there was one that we kept going back to, which was just rotisserie <laughs> yes, chicken. That's like, right. Like that's on, right. on a spit. Oh, my God. And then we found these rabbits that were in, like, yeah, some yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, rabbit. Yes. Like, oh, oh, yes. Yes. I remember they would that. Jump. Oh, my gosh. And then amazing. Matt created this effect where, like, you would, like, go between the chick- <laughs> rotisserie chicken and, and the, the rabbits. Chicken. And it was so crazy. It was so fun because it was like it was great bonkers. Yeah, and, and it was the like, venue was like yeah, we, we were in this we were in the Hotel Saint Germain on and and it yes. was like this beautiful a Mercer. yeah a Mercer and it's like these beautiful like <laughs> wall to ceiling um, windows yeah. right and like people would come in they kind of sit in the lounge and I don't think I mean bless Hotel. Le Germain, because the person we originally were talking to about the project, like, left within, like, a month of them saying yes to, <gasps> to doing this. That's great. And so I think the person we originally <laughs> talked to, like, totally understood what Mini Blanche was, was really stoked and excited. Yeah. And then by the time we got closer to the date and started talking to all these other people, I think they were kind of like, what is this thing? And so then on the <laughs> night of, you know, the, this, like, posse of artists just show up, like, with, you know, we're going to project this and we're going to do this all night Chickens. thing. We're gonna chicken. project rotisserie chicken. In your lobby. Also, it's like in the, it's in like the exhibits, and it, so people make like a plan of their night. Oh, They're yeah. like, I'm gonna hit this, 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 this. So I wasn't there because I, I had just had a baby, and it was like not happening. It was like a month later That's or something right. like that. Yeah, right, right. So that wasn't That's gonna happen. Right, right. But um, so I remember I watched it. Oh yeah, because it was live too. It was live stream. That's yeah. Right. So I watched it the whole time, but you must have had thousands of people. There, yeah, it there was, was crazy. Come in. Also, crazy. the other piece the of this <laughs> was that the Hotel Le Germain had, in the lobby, had like a coffee and like hot chocolate machine. Yeah. So we became a destination for people <laughs> to get out of the cold. Because the thing about September is it was, like, yeah. it, was yeah, it was cold out. It was yeah. cold. So people also would be like, oh, we'll go into this lobby. And then they're like, oh, there's hot chocolate. And so they would hang out. And then I'm pretty sure, yeah, there were a lot of people who were like, what is happening? But in the in the best way, in the way of like, what was cool about it is you were, we were so, all so free Completely. to explore. And, you know, isn't that what those kinds of art installations should For be sure. about? Like, I think at the beginning they were a little bit like, I'm, I'm not sure what's going on. But by the end, <laughs> I think everyone was just like, let's just roll with this because it's happening. Yeah. Um, but they were so great there, too. They were yeah. just really, really welcoming. The staff on site were really like... The sec- even the security guards were like into it. The security like, guards were into it. Like, the cops, they were like, cops would come oh, in to yeah, get hot chocolate like, and they'd like hang out. <laughs> it was fun. It was a really it fun was time. Good. Yeah, that it was, was great. Good. And good for you for thinking about, you know, your podcast in a different way to put it involved in something like Nuit Blanche. Because yeah. it's not particularly a fit that I think that people would go like, oh, I do a podcast, I'm going to be involved in this like all night art installation. I think they call it like an all night art installation yes. thing. Yes, yeah. Well, yes, you know, an like, all, all night art installation, installation thing. thing. Don't they? Yes. Is it, it is a thing. Do they have a thing at the end of it? It's some kind of like <laughs> thing. They, listen, it used to be, there used to be, they used to say some type of like thing, something. Maybe Whatever. West Queen West. So, you know, West, West Queen West, West Dale. That's Listen. how it was. And tell me I'm wrong. So <laughs> Tell her she's wrong. She's tell her she's wrong. <laughs> it's not no, wrong. She's wrong. I'm going to look it up and I'm going to post it. <laughs> tell Dale she's wrong. Let's see. Um, but yeah, but to be able to look at your podcast in that way and, and do that is pretty great. Thanks. So. You know what? It was really interesting because we did, um, we got the inspiration from that, from a cabaret that we did. Uh, Daniela Vlaslat. Vlaskalik. Yeah, Vlaskalik, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Hype to so, Daniela Vlaskalik. Hype to Daniela. Yay! You know, Marco always Hype. says the name of the pickle. You know the Vlasic. And so every time I think of Daniela's last name, I'm you always see that. Th- and so it messes. So I apologize, Daniela. 
But Daniela Vlaskalik. Hype to you. Hype to you. Hype to you. And you uh, have and a your podcast. brand new podcast yeah. called Every Place is the Same. Every Place is the Same. Which is it's produced by great. Drumcast Productions. Produced by Drumcast Productions. <laughs> Nitties Where everywhere. Oh, it's a and it's also a really great Also a great podcast. It's a really great podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They basically explain how every place is the same. There yeah. you go. It's wonderful. In a very a funny there's a, f- a funny minutes. conceit. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. We're trying to get shorter and shorter with our podcast. Yeah, yeah, you're like how twenty six minutes, ten minutes. But people want to be one minute. People want that in podcasts. I know. They sometimes do. you're like, I'm going to drive for 45 minutes. I'm going to drive for 10 minutes. It's true. And you choose the podcast. Yeah, depending on what, yeah. what yeah. you need it for. Yeah, yeah for like sure. If you have an hour and a half podcast, it's like, I got I got to get invested in this. Yeah, right? yeah. I and I'm going to like, I'm like cleaning out my closet. I'm going to yeah, listen I'm to this podcast. Yeah, I'm driving to Waterloo. I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah, listen yeah. to this podcast. Here we go. <laughs> I find it hard when I listen to a short podcast and I'm on a long drive, mm. and then I don't like the next podcast. Or like I'm, I have to like I wanted to keep going. Yeah, yeah. So I haven't, I haven't chosen properly. That's on me. I'm not blaming the podcast. I need a new I'm, podcast. Okay, we can help you with that. Anybody <laughs> have any suggestions? Any suggestions? suggestions for podcasts? For Let me. us know. I mean, I think um, I've told you all the ones I love. Mission to Zinks. And I love all the murder podcasts. Oh, yeah. do you? I'm not. I haven't gotten into those. I mean, I, I haven't really I tried like to be them. fair, but I. Like I them. Yeah. True crime. True crime. It's a big, it's a popular genre right now. I recently was talking to a guy on Bumble and thought we made this great connection because he was totally into the true crime in the same way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then he ghosted. I what? got two true okay. crime on it. What's with, can I not talk let's about, talk about let's, ghosting? Let's, let's talk, talk about ghosting. ghosting. Let's talk about ghosting. Okay, we're talking about ghosting. Okay. Like, let's what do it. kind of, personally, what and, and we're all, here's the thing, I'm saying amongst this, friends. and we're all, amongst friends. we're all guilty of ghosting well, in, yes. in one sure, way or another. Sure. Of course. But truly, you have to think to yourself, what kind of an asshole am I? <laughs> what little courage, and what little, no. like, you have no character. No. If you're willing to ghost someone. Mm. At the very least, have the character to be able to say, this isn't working for me, or I, I think yeah. we're done here. I will say this. I dislike professional ghosting even more than I dislike Ooh, personal ghosting. Yes. Professional ghosting. Because, like, yeah. personal ghosting, yeah. like, you know, that happens, whatever. I agree, Dale, but I mean, okay, fine. We all have our moments. But professional ghosting to me is like, you got to be kidding me. Yeah. You got to be kidding me because yeah. it is your job to respond. It is your job. Now, I'm not talking about a cold call, yeah. email, or reach out. I'm talking about... You reached out to me about something, I got in touch with you, and then you disappeared. Yeah. I don't, I'm not into it. I think that's just incompetence. Well, there you go. Maybe we shouldn't call it ghosting anymore. Maybe we should call it incompetence. Yeah. I just, I don't know. There's just a lot, there's just such a lack of courage to it yeah. for me mm-hmm. that I'm like, because I always feel, you know, there's things that you work on your whole life. Like for me, I'm constantly thinking to myself, like, Every time an uncomfortable situation comes up, I think to myself, push through this uncomfortable mm. situation, walk your walk, walk your life, Dale, yeah. and like walk through this uncomfortable thing and take ownership and responsibility and, and move through it. Ghosting is doing the absolute opposite yeah. to me. It's like, and every time you do it, I feel like you're just chipping away at just who you are meant to be. Yeah. Just mm. stop being a coward and just be like, say what you need to say. Tell her, Tell her she's wrong. Tell her she's wrong. Tell her I'm wrong. wrong. Don't I, ghost me mm, off about mm, it either. Mm, go back mm, and forth. Can I say this, though? Maybe yeah. I'm going to tell you you're wrong. Okay. Oh! Okay. No, I'm not. I'm not actually telling you. <laughs> no, listen, I'm okay. No. I don't drink. think you're wrong. I think you're, a hun- I think you're right. Um, but I also think, and I also think, look at me. Look at me amending my language, everybody. Mm-hmm. And I also think that I, that I think that people, um, we are not, we're not helping each other enough anymore in mm. life learn how to actually have uncomfortable conversations. Yes, I think true. it's too easy, and this yes. is not to absolve those people from that behavior. It's to say that I think there's like a an external thing happening where we're not we're we're not forced to have uncomfortable conversations. We can just move away from them. And I don't know if that's like that we're mm-hmm. more detached from one another in general. I mean, it's weird because we're doing this 
show onto a social network platform. So like, but uh, but the the purpose of that is to try and engage with people. Yeah. Um. So I wonder. I have a lot of questions about that. Yeah. But like, how, why can't we have those uncomfortable conversations as much? Or maybe I'm just as I get older, I'm encountering that more, and it's always been that way, and it has nothing to do with. I mean, who wants to have an uncomfortable conversation? Nobody does. Nobody but wants but like no, but like hype to those like women who are older and just like zero fucks given and hype are, to those hype women. To Men. Those women, I to zero fucks given. Although zero fucks given. you can get into like Nona territory where you go, you should give a couple fucks, <laughs> especially with the racist remarks. Just a few just fucks. A few. Just given. give a few. Just remarks. give a few. Just, just, just we're not a few. asking a lot. Yeah. Just, just a few. You know, <laughs> just give, just if a you few. You can do me a favor. <laughs> do me a solid. Give a few. <laughs> but I want to so so like to to to, to like you know piggyback on that. You said something. So you've been featured now in a couple of um, features on I think She Does the City mm-hmm. and also in Toronto Life <laughs> Magazine. Toronto Life. Bah, 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 bah. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Toronto Life Magazine. Very Although, good. which had like the most unhype like title to it. it was- Oh, yeah. No, it was an unhyped title. It was an unhyped title. It, it was it? the worst title was. ever. Like, they came over and they were like, we want to find out, you know, uh, we're going to look at people who the chase? rent. The, who are, yeah, the chase, right? <laughs> Renters in the city of Toronto. And how did you find your place? And it was my friend who, like, connected me to these people. And it was great. And I was telling them the story of how I found the place. And they're like, well, where are you right now? <laughs> And I had just come through uh, a series of years of, like, debilitating depression and job loss and all these things, right? So yeah. I was living with my parents, and I was getting my shit together, and my life was on track, and I finally moved back out and all of that. <laughs> and the article comes out, and it's yeah, like... Yeah, the title. 35-year-old culture manager moves out of her parents' house. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Toronto Life. Thanks, Toronto Life. <laughs> But it's those, <laughs> it's those weird clickbaity. Yeah, it was like, totally. It was totally. Because the article itself was interesting. It was great. It was great. But it was oh, just like, like the title. I was it's like, like that editor. And I had just started my new job in my oh. new place. And I was like, oh my God, this is like, you know, one of those things where you're like, how do I, I already promoted this. I so know. I kind of have to stick with it and just be like, it is what it is. Crazy. Especially, I, I feel like magazines too are looking, oftentimes, when they're writing a story, they're looking for an angle. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, like, yeah. uh, oh, for sure. years for sure. ago, years ago, I, I won't even talk about the whole thing, but years ago, I got stung by a magazine, and, and uh, I got stung by a magazine story, and I was like, oh, cool, so I'm not going to be doing magazines anymore. Like, I was <laughs> no. yeah, yeah, yeah. like, oh. I was not, I'm not going to do this. Because even though, because you do the story, and then they will, like, call you and, like, fact check everything. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. you're like, okay, we're cool. We're all fact checked. <laughs> you know, they don't fact check that that slant. No, oh, no, they don't have to. They're just no. like, this slant is totally They're correct. They're like, cool, 35-year-old woman moves out of her parents' house. <laughs> like, but you know what? And like, and, like, that magazine, frankly, like, they are very controversial for that very reason because they've right. done that a they lot have, where yeah, they're, they like, very, that. it's a very, they've, they've started their, their um, headlines have become very sensationalized. Yeah. <clears throat> and not everyone's a fan of that, you know? I'm sure a lot sells some magazines, but, you know, it's going to... Gonna yes and no, yes and no on that. You know what I mean? A little yes. It's hard, especially when well, I got a beautiful, no, I got a, a beautiful market. headshot out of it. You did. It's you. a great. The one we've been using. <laughs> it's the one we were using. Yeah, you, you also said so in the in the she does the city yes. interview. You said something that I really loved, and I wanna I wanna quote it. Okay. So you talked about leadership. Okay. And you said inspiring leadership comes from a place of authenticity, which we talk a lot about authenticity on the show. So much. Mm-hmm. Be true to who you are, because people gravitate towards leaders who are authentic. Vulnerability in a leader is okay. Um, if you want to work in a fast-paced environment, don't work in a government job. If you want to work in a nine-to-five, don't work for an ad agency. You don't need to judge what is important to you, but you do need to have a value fit. And this is what I loved. You said, when your values line up, you will succeed. Otherwise, you are pushing a rock up a mountain and are going to burn out quickly. I said that? You are brilliant. That is a brilliant, succinct way to... It is really great. i to put that on my vision board. Like, yes, really, though. Your own really quote? Good. My own quote. Yes, quote <laughs> yourself on your vision board. Yes. So you know what? You just, we're going to yeah, fold please. this in half. We're going to take that. You take it. You're set. You're ready to go. I will say, I had, a, I had a therapist once say to me, like, I had a vision board, and I remember her saying, well, have you put your pictures of yourself on there? And I was like, well, no, it's my vision board. It's like all the people I want to be. And she was like, right, maybe put some pictures of yourself 
yourself on your own vision board. Mm. And it was a li- it was a real life changing thing. I never would have thought of doing that. No, yeah. me neither. Hmm. That's why I've also never made a vision board. It's kind of cool. Can be fun. Yeah. If it's your, you don't need to. <laughs> Listen, Dale, you don't need to. You gotta live your life, Dale. You know. Never done it. <laughs> yeah, you said that, Nitty. You do you. You said you that. Do you and lead from your place of authenticity. Okay. Vision board doesn't work. <laughs> Which is just <laughs> you not ghosting people. people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, <laughs> we'll take don't that. Ghost. <laughs> I also want to point out that the other thing I like about your LinkedIn is all the like oh. middle-aged white men who compliment you. <laughs> That's right. I was like, well, I, like I never noticed people. that before. Yeah, yeah, there's like there's That's all these amazing. there's all these recommendations it's on your so LinkedIn, great. and we I was like, oh, on parallel drive to keep our team moving forward. I put yeah, moving because it felt right, but it's moving. Yeah, you, and Nitty possesses and yeah, you just said that one. That's yeah. a good one. Oh my god, Joe Stasco. Joe, <laughs> so well, one. hype to Joe Stasco, who hype. I have known hype. for like twelve years now. We did our MBA together. How awesome. Um, and <laughs> I was just like, white dude, white, white dude, dude, white so dude, white dude. I was like, cool, <laughs> mini has got a real, you got a type. I got following. That's what the type. That's great. <laughs> Med- medical, sur- medical surgical systems. Cool. Y- yeah. Yeah, that was from a time when I was working for an organization that went bust and... Controversially went controversially bust. Controversially went bust. Yeah, they <laughs> controversially did. Yeah, man. It's a medical company. Yeah, yeah go digging for that one. Go check there that one go. out. Go yeah. check that out. Go it's spelled <laughs> oddly. Nitty's LinkedIn. <laughs> go so yeah, you I know. check it oh, out. Oh, yeah, I still have it there. Oh, yeah. I didn't erase oh, it. Oh, it's still there. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say that's one of those places that's like, even people that don't know anything know them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. Like, it's true. Much like gas plant scandals or something. <laughs> Everyone goes, I've heard of that. I know what that is. Here's Although, what I'll you say. Nitty, whenever you're involved in something, I know it's going to go off without a hitch. Like Aww, like, that's yeah, yeah. That's very kind. Yeah, <laughs> and you also choice. rock a clothing swap really well. Oh, ah, clothing yes, clothing swap, clothing, clothing swap, swap, clothing swap. Clothing swap. These, are, these earrings are clothing swap. They were Dale's. Yeah, that's true. Ooh. And they were in the clothing this swap. This was Sonia's. Yeah. So clothing swap. Love it's a clothing all about swap. the clothing swap. We love a clothing swap. I swear, oh, anytime I wear a piece of clothing swap, um, clothing. I get nothing but confidence. Yeah, I'm the same way. Yeah. You go, you go out and people yes. are like, that's great. And I'm like, great. Clothing swap. Clothing swaps are going to change the world. They are. They are. They already do. They are. I have so it many makes me feel like I'm yes. like doing something for sustainability. Yes, because yes. I wore those earrings like twice. Yeah. And right. I've seen you wear them so many times. I love them. I yeah. wear them all the time. You know what it's mm-hmm. also made me do? It's made me less precious about clothing. Absolutely. Yes, me right? too. And it's like, I don't wear this. Why am I keeping it? It's Absolutely. a beautiful piece. Someone else can wear it. Give it, yeah, let it go. Spread the love. That's right, yep. spread the clothing love. I often feel like that too, as I, like, because after you go to a few, after yeah. a while, you just kind of reach a point where you go, is there still a lot of life in this shirt? Yes. Or there's still a lot of joy to have from this, but I am personally finished with it. Mm-hmm. And can I just say also, like, the community of women in those, like, I've talked to a few people about yeah. clothing swaps, and they're very kind of, uh, nervous about that mm-hmm. or like they don't really get it because they're like oh but you know I'm not really a size that everyone else wears or I don't feel like I would be comfortable etc mm-hmm. I have never felt more body positive yes comfortable yes. I have full-on been in this in this space, very space yes <laughs> wearing nothing but a bathrobe mm-hmm. um, <laughs> literally right. like <laughs> down to just like yep. you know what the unmentionables that are mentionable Unmentionables. Unmentionables. Back in the day. Back in the was... day. I just did a hype to throwbacks. I don't know. <laughs> hype to throwbacks. Um, to hype to unmentionables. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. Hype been, to clothing swaps. Clothing swaps are wonderful. I've been doing them hype. for like 15 years. Yeah. Soon I'll be talking about my next project. That's right. Which is deeply rooted in clothing swaps. Yeah. So, oh. Yeah. But there That's is an funny. element of like true sisterhood. Because yeah. I feel like sisterhood yeah. has become a very commodified thing. Yes. yes. It's become a very like martinis and movie nights and girls nights. And like not that there's anything wrong with those things. Except for the wine called Girls Night Out. Yeah. You're, you're I'm not, not a okay fan. With that. Yeah. I'm not okay with that. Well, because again, it's all part of that like commodification yeah. of like what what women I think really need and are craving mm-hmm. which is a deep connection a deep connection beyond yes like it's fun to go get your nails done together but you know it 
what is really satisfying is when you actually can look at each other and see well, each not other. Well, it's this. It's no. This, it's this. It's, well, it's going on a... On a trip. I had never been on a girl's trip before. I went on one this weekend. Yeah. And I felt like there was a lot of stigma, actually, to going on a girl's trip. Right. And it was my own baggage and mm-hmm. my own problem to bear. And I was like, I'm going to do it. And the truth is, I'm like really into it now yeah. I'm really into it I got an opportunity to like share and talk and you know when you're with someone for like many hours and they're friends they're not family or whatever interesting stories come out interesting yeah. perspectives yeah. Yeah. so many yeah. people have had like such interesting things happen to them in their lives and you're friends with them for years and you don't know these stories and it's just a gift to be able to share them and have those well, because you you but... pass that threshold, right? Like that threshold of like when you're spending three days with someone mm-hmm. or a group of people together in such close proximity, you pass that threshold of like normal everyday conversation. Or I haven't seen you this week. What happened in your yeah. week? Yeah. Right? And right. you get to like this deeper connection yeah. that is really beautiful. And yeah. Uh, yeah. And so if you really want to have that, have a clothing swap because it's like three days, like slipped. <laughs> <laughs> one. One. Until like one. 30 minutes. Yeah. But there's a deep, I think there's a deep seeing that happens that we are craving. Like I think we, will, yeah. we yes. all really want to be seen and to be like understood and have people make space for us. And yes. there's a beautiful thing that yeah. happens when yeah. a bunch of women come together and they're like taking off their clothes around each other and trying on other people's clothes and all of those things that come up for all of us about our bodies. But when we can all be in a room together and be like, that looks awesome on you. Oh, I love that dress. I've had that dress for four years and now it looks so good on you and you're going to take it. There's this, it's really deep kind of knowing. And I love those moments where um, sometimes we've been doing it a while now and so there's pieces of clothing that'll come back to the fold and it will be, have been on and continue to be on, you know, various different people with different shapes and sizes and yeah. looks and the that one article of clothing still looks so incredibly beautiful in all these different forms and I think that that's what's so important, right, is that we're not bound by this constructed mm-hmm. idea of what beauty is that we see in a retail context, etc. So yes. it's like, also makes me mindful about what you're bringing into your house too. Yeah, it's like Big time. you know, you at these clothing swaps, it always event, essentially turns into like bags and piles of stuff. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, and you go like, what it's are true. we doing? <laughs> yeah, it's like, true. we don't need all this. No. We don't need it. No. Like, yeah, no. My yeah. closet's like this wide. Yeah, it's yeah, really I've gotten, gotten down to a place now where it feels manageable. quite manageable and lovely, and I wear things until they're done, and then that's that. Mm. Yeah. I think it might be time for a uh, lightning oh, I round. Love it. Let's do it. Okay, so for our lightning round tonight, I thought it would be really fun. Now there are so many episodes of the Insomnia Project. <laughs> there are so many. But they're great titles. So we're gonna do just a sample, <laughs> a Ooh. wee sample Ooh. of the titles of the okay. episodes of the Insomnia Project. Hi to Projects. the Insomnia Project mm. listeners and fans. Yes. And thank yes. you. So yes. many wonderful listeners. Mm-hmm. Lynn Boyer is watching right now. Oh hi Lynn Boyer. Mm. Lynn, you should watch the you should listen to the insomnia project for sure yeah it would it would be really great for you it's really good all right dale are you ready i'm ready okay uh-huh. here we go Lightning yes in. chess lunenburg and cottage sounds baking bridges and raisins <laughs> powdered graphite rotoscoping and animation <laughs> cars eggs and french braids cotton candy grapes and voice therapy oh, closets one. closets and closets tires mechanics and nitty's pottery i think that's mine <laughs> <laughs> mint dog parks and weather people oh that was a great one too. Baths, pools, and swimming. <laughs> Muffins versus cupcakes. Windows, tomatoes, and pollination. <laughs> coffee, coffee, and more coffee. Lips, that was an awesome one. Purses, Topeka, Kansas. Sailing sturgeon and the whale eye. <laughs> <laughs> Ties, shirts, and eyewear. Symbols. Milk, water bottles, and Salt Lake City. Colors, frames, and museums. Soup, herbs, and cutlery. And last but not least, rain, starfish, and a cool castle. <laughs> Yay. So good. Oh, that is amazing. Yeah, and that's yeah. just the tip of a very big and iceberg. If, and if all of those topics seem uninteresting to you, Please. that is exactly that the, is the reason point. why you should listen to the podcast. That is the point. It'll put you to sleep. Uh, I think we might have gotten to our new favorite thing. Though. I think so, yeah. Right. Oh my gosh. I mean, we've got so many people who've been liking and hearting and watching, and yes. thank you so much. We actually had something really interesting from, I think, Vanya earlier oh, talking cool. about. Hi, Vanya. Um, she was talking earlier about when you. Uh, I can't remember where it was. Our womanhood is tra- when she was talking about compliments. Mm. Uh, she mm-hmm. was talking about our womanhood is trained uh, for us to not take compliments. It's really important to swallow it, though. Uh, for Vanya, sometimes it feels like swallowing a baseball. Oh, it's a true yeah. thing. Oh, it's like a yeah. lump. 
But yeah. I mean, that's such a beautiful image. Yeah. Like, such a true image. It reminds yeah. me of that thing, like, I remember, like, in, like, voice class and in university, they'd be like, you know when you cry and you get a lump in your throat? Yeah, And that yeah. feeling of your yeah. lump in your throat? Ugh. But if you really, truly cry, your throat doesn't hurt. No. The lump is you're letting it out. Stop. Right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh. yes. 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 Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm. Hey, man. Oh, yeah, thank you. There. Thank you, Vanya. Sorry about that. So much hype to Vanya, who's such a lovely viewer and hype wonderful guy. Vanya. And a new favorite thing. Yeah, ma'am. What's uh, what's in the world? A new favorite thing. Mine's really simple. Go for it. So I have this pierced up here. Yeah. Ooh. I haven't had. It's very nineties. I haven't had anything in it for yeah. about three years. And I was like, I wonder if that hole's still there. Oh, it is. And then I found this wonderful oh, wow. little stud. Cool. And it's like mis it's like a kind of a misshapen gold stud. It's not like a any it's not a shape. Yeah, yeah. It's not a heart. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a nothing. And I love it so much. That's awesome. It's great. my new favorite thing. Cool. Looks great. Yeah. And when I lose it, because it's super little, I have another one. Hey, yeah, that's look a at good that. thing. That's a good thing. <laughs> uh my new favorite thing is like not being cool. Oh, okay. Because, like, I feel like for a long time, for my whole life, I've had this image in my head. This is going to sound really weird, but I had this image in my head of, like, what it would be if I were cool. And it was always, like, I was thinner, I smoked, I, like, was aloof. Mm -hmm. Like, I had a sense, because mm -hmm. I think I care, I'm, like, I give a lot of fucks, and, like, and like I often feel, like, too many, and, like, get very personal and emotional. I take things very personally sometimes, and I'm very emotional about them, and I like to, like, express myself a lot, but I've always felt that's very vulnerable, mm, yeah. so there's a part of me that's always been, like, oh, if I could be cool and, like, only wear, like, you know, muted colors and be aloof and like I think there's still been a part of me that like somehow thought that that was a good thing I think you're describing me I was just gonna say did you have red lipstick <laughs> I'm not describing you at all you're so passionate what I'm pretty aloof are you mm, I think there's really? a difference really? between no, being aloof so. and being um like you're you're not aloof I you you aloof you're either. so engaged oh, I'm glad. okay great oh no deal I would never describe you that way aloof to me is like sometimes um, I'm like yeah, but that's not aloof. That's just like casting that's shade. And you're yeah. Like <laughs> Giving casting shade is not the same as aloof. No. Like casting shade. I just think there's a certain kind of like, there's something we get sold as yes. like a way to kind of like get through life and be cool. And I think I kind of it's think like it's like pretending not to care, right? Yes. There's nothing yeah. actually. Yeah. I don't really care when I care really a lot. Yeah. yeah. So my new favorite thing is being like, oh, I care a lot and I'm okay with that. Mm. It's like accepting my, I guess my like, I hope I don't make you have an passion? android at like a, like a Star Trek android head blow up moment, but I think caring and stuff like that is pretty cool. Caring is cool. That's thanks, hashtag, Dale. Hashtag caring. <laughs> Dale, yeah, I think it's cool. Thanks, Dale. So you think you're saying I'm kind of am cool? I think you're. Yeah, you're but well, how does that mean for me letting go of, oh my god, it's going to take me like a care, week care, to care. figure this out. If you watch us next week, I'll maybe have figured out <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Thanks, Dale. Anyway, that's my new favorite thing. Um, Brittany is watching in BC. Oh, Hi, Brittany. Brittany. Oh, Brittany. Oh, Brittany. Brit. Hi, Hi to Brittany. Brit, who Hi to Brittany. is um, an amazing person who... Uh, uh, is doing amazing things in Victoria and uh, has a beautiful new dog and oh. just bought a place and I can't wait to come visit her. Yeah. Nice. Thanks for Hi. watching, Brittany. Yeah, no, we didn't nice even talk you. about your dog. We didn't oh, even yeah, talk about your dog. Yeah, you've got a great, you've got a great dog. I know. You've got this great dog. What's your new favorite thing? Um, so I recently, with my neighbors, so my neighbors uh, are this really awesome couple, um, Kepra and Legend and... They wanted to do like a community garden in front of our lawn, which okay. is normally weeds, and they were like, no, we want it to be nice, and um, they got all these planters and this soil, and we now have this beautiful urban garden. Yes. Um, and we are both That's like okay. um, taking care of it and watering oh it. It's gosh. like, you know, constant communication about who's watering the urban plants, and um, there's a construction zone right in front of us, which might impede the plan a little bit. <laughs> But it's Toronto. You either do it or there's going to be construction anyways. Yeah. Um, you can't help it. So, no. yeah. So, uh, oh, my mom just, look at that. Yay. Hi, oh, mom. mom. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, she probably, I wonder who's helping her make the comments. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Hype to your mom to and whoever that person is. <laughs> yeah. um, 
So, yeah, so it's beautiful. There's, like, herbs and tomatoes and all these things oh, that I we're trying it. to grow. And I just love the community feel of that and the vibe. And yeah. I normally can't. That's awesome. Make plants survive, so I'm glad someone else is in it with me. When you're working That's together, great. I feel like it can happen. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I love that. I love an urban garden. I'm mm-hmm. growing celery this year. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. I was great. like, it's a kind of thing that's going to, like, grow high, kind of be... It, I like to see progress. Yeah. Um, well, that's the yeah. thing. Is like, we're growing like, a couple of things. One thing underground, and Matt doesn't I like can't. that. But then we're also trying this year to grow tomatoes for the first time I've ever tried to grow them myself. Okay. Because mm-hmm. I grew up in an Italian family, so there was always a huge garden full yeah. of all that stuff. Right. Uh, and there's nothing like fresh tomatoes. I love growing tomatoes. Like, I love it. There's nothing like a fresh tomato. I know. I, I love mean, it. I mean, you just can't beat it. We're also trying to grow raspberries and strawberries this year, which oh. is a bit of an adventure. Okay. Yeah. Raspberries are that kind of thing that'll go every year, though. Like, yeah. Once it's like perennial. Uh, yeah. 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 That'd be all right. Yeah, it'd be all right. Well, um, we'll all check in about our. Gardens. I hear that you're doing carrots. We tried to do carrots last year. Yeah. I, I think our ground was too tough, and it was like I can't. We had one. Oh, we had one like, sad yeah. carrot like two years ago. Yeah. That was like what? It was like no. Yeah. Huh? What we did you it. want me to do? We ate it. Yeah, you got to eat it. You got to eat it. Now. You got to eat it. But this celery is like... We had cucumbers last year that... <laughs> really? Oh, it's this high right now, my celery. Oh, my God. We had a cucumber last year that was the size of Matt's head. No joke. Yeah. And it was hidden under a leaf, so we didn't see it. And then I kind of did a double take. That's probably why. I was like, wow. It was like massive cucumber. We're doing um, mint. And I feel like if we cannot make mint grow. Mint is an mint, aggressive plant. Yeah, mint, mint is like, just. Right? It's going to take over everything. So if that can't grow, yeah. this is not going to work. Mint is like a lesson in persistence. If you want to like, if Fine. you're like, I want to yeah. learn, learn a yeah. lesson from this garden. Yeah. Mint and hostas. It's like, yeah. Hostas. <laughs> Matt calls it a hosta takeover. <laughs> Because he'll be like, I do not want that hosta in this Aggressive garden. Aggressive species, It'll man. just go. And ditch lily. Ugh, yeah, I have all. I have all three in my garden. Well, listen. Good, good luck to you, like, Thank you. <laughs> good luck. Oh, my gosh. Guess it's, what? Guys, it's time. It's time. It's We're time. Done. Wow. We're done. It goes really quickly. Thank you. Thank you so much Nidhi. for coming. Oh, my God. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Can, you. you can follow uh, Nidhi on uh, social media. That's true. <laughs> right? You're on Twitter and on Insta and stuff? I am. I don't use my Twitter much, but I okay. use my Insta. Okay. I've lost And then you can go to websites to find out about her work. So the insomniaproject.com. Yes. Yep. And artscape.ca. Yes. Thank yes. you. And thank you all for joining us. We will be back soon. Stay tuned to the page for more information on guests. That's true. And as we always say, please go to the page and like us or give us a review because to be honest, just clicking that bunny but click that just clicking that button really helps to get support and show how many people are watching the show. So please yeah. do click that. a bunny if you want to. Click a bunny, but click are a adorable. bunny on a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks everyone. Thank Have a great you. night. Bum 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 b